Today marks two and a half years since the horrific event that took away our lives, took away our families, everything we loved was taken away from us. And the two and a half years that we've endured have been painful, frustrating, we've been angry a lot, we still are angry, but if there's anything that I can say is to try to, to use that to support each other. We have to remember that we are not going to be able to achieve what it is that we want to achieve in terms of justice and change unless we do it together. I guess for us it's trying to remember the experiences that we had with the families we lost. And that's why we do what we do and we gather together every month to remember them. Because that's what this is all about. It's about the 72 families, men, women, children that we lost. Nothing else. And we need to remember that. Abdul Salim Sabah, Ali Yawa Jafari, Dennis Murphy, Muhammad Al Haj Ali, Jeremiah Dean, Zainab Dean, Stephen Power, Sheila, Joe Joseph Daniels, Husna Begum, Kamru Mia, Muhammad Hamid, Muhammad Hanif, Rabea Begum, forever in our hearts. Khadija Kalufi, Vincent Chinjina, Fatima Afrasavi, Sakina Afrasavi, Isaac Palos, Hamid Kani, Bhakti Haftoum, Baruch Haftoum, Gary Maunders, Deborah Debbie Lamprell, forever in our hearts. Ernie Vital, Marjorie Vital, Maria Del Pilar Burton, Amal Ahmedine, Amaya Tuka Ahmedine, Amna Muhammad Idris, Muhammad Noor Tukur, Victoria King, Alexandra Atala, Mary Mendy, Khadija Say, forever in our hearts. Farah Hamdan Bilkadi, Lena Bilkadi, Malik Bilkadi, Omar Bilkadi, Jessica Ubano, Lagaya Moore, Abdulaziz El Wahabi, Fazia El Wahabi, Mehdi El Wahabi, Noor Huda El Wahabi, Yasin El Wahabi, forever in our hearts. Logan Gomez, Fidoz Hashim, Hashim Kadir, Noura Jamal, Yahya Hashim, Yaqub Hashim, Fatima Shakur, Rihanna Shakur, Nadia Shakur, Syria Shakur, Zainab Shakur, Basim Shakur, forever in our hearts. Anthony Tony Disson, Mariam El Guhari, Esla El Guhari, Raymond Bernard, known as Moses, Gloria Trivisan, Marco Gattardi, Fatia Hassan, Hanya Hassan, Rania Ibrahim, Hisham Rahman, Muhammad Saba Amid Neda, Abu Fras Ibrahim, Isra Ibrahim, Fatia Ali Ahmed Al Nusi, forever in our hearts. We 
walk in silence out of respect. We walk in silence because we are mourning. We walk in silence because even if we didn't know someone who died directly, someone who lost their whole world could be standing next to us. We walk in silence because words so often offend. We walk in silence because to speak is to vent and to vent is to rage. We walk in silence because if we spoke, our throats would burn. We walk in silence because otherwise our fists would quickly come to talk too. We can walk in silence because our muted presence should scare those who are responsible. We walk in silence because we cannot say a word that the events of the 14th of June don't speak for us. We walk in silence because we carry the weight of history. And to carry that burden, it's easier and quiet. We walk in silence because it pains those who wish to speak for us. We walk in silence because even if we whispered about what justice looked like in totality, the streets would stir with revolt. We walk in silence because it is stealthy. We walk in silence because we are waiting to be done right by. The silence has an end point. The silence is not there to comfort the powerful. It is to soothe those that are living with hell. The silence speaks for itself. Respect what it says and don't speak over it.